A Christian school has kicked out a girl because she looks too much like a boy. Um, this is uh, Sunny Kale, Sunny Kale. I'm not sure how she pronounces her last name. Likes to play sports, likes to wear sneakers, sports short hair. It's also what got her removed from Timberlake Christian School. Her grandparents pulled her out of the school after the school said she's no longer welcome. Uh, there was a letter written by the school saying that uh, students have been confused about whether Sonny is a boy or a girl. And it says that administrators can refuse admission or enrollment for condoning sexual immorality, practicing a homosexual lifestyle or an alternative gender identity. And this is a girl who loved her school. She would always, according to her uh, grandparents, say she always cries when she comes home from school. She wants to go back. She loves hanging out with her friends there. And then they went on to say, how do you tell a child when she wants to wear pants and a shirt and go out and play in the mud and so forth? How do you tell her? No, you can't. You've got to wear a pink bow in your hair and you've got to let your hair grow out long. How do you do that? I can't do that. This is just like uh, Jesus, isn't it, Lewis? It sounds just like Jesus to advocate for kicking kids out of school based on how closely their physical appearance conforms to heteronormative social expectations. Obviously, Jesus would kick her out. Yeah, this is uh, this is incredible. Uh, this is something I've never heard of happening uh, anywhere. I mean, of course, there would be girls that we knew that were. Uh, you know, that like to wear uh, pants and overalls and play in the mud and stuff. And sure, maybe some of the boys would uh, poke fun at them. But getting kicked out of school, this is uh, this is taking it to a new level. Timberlake Christian School, whatever it's called, believes that Jesus would turn his back on this little girl because she doesn't dress girly enough with clothing that, of course, didn't even exist in Jesus's time. But they're sure Jesus would have kicked her out. This is the best thing that could possibly happen to her. That's the reality. Uh, sad but true. Yeah, she needs to get out of there before it's too late. Next, we will talk to former libertarian vice presidential candidate Wayne Allen Root about gold. He says it's a great investment. I say it's primarily a scam. 